One of the great misses last year was American banking. It looked better. It really didn't perform. Are you guys overweight financials right now? Yeah, I think there's going to, we're at the beginning of a, of a wave of consolidation in the, in the financial. With the SunTrust BDT, yeah. Exactly. Um, you know, there's, a, I think, a, an appetite for banks to get bigger. There are a lot of regional banks out there you see uh, uh, buy smaller banks. So we like that. And, you know, notwithstanding what the curve is doing. But, uh, Chris, talk to me about what the curve is doing. H how does it make it, you know, is there anything that can actually make it more difficult for U.S. banks? Well, sure. Obviously, uh, you know, inversion. You know, there was a lot of optimism, uh, as uh, Tom referenced at the beginning of the year, that uh, curve steepening uh, would be good for the NIMS, the net interest margin. Um, <clears throat> you know, you saw some of that. The banks ended up having to give away a lot of that uh, interest income to deposit holders, to, to get deposit holders. Um, so that was a, a little bit disappointing in general. Um, but again, a, a modest growth in the economy, a good economic uh, backdrop, uh, along with some consolidation uh, and, and low valuations, frankly, uh, probably mean you're going to see some gains in the banks. Yeah. Um, Chris, when you, when you look at the trade concerns between the U.S. and China, what exactly is priced in? If we have an accord but not a real one, a kind of smoke and mirrors one, do stocks still lift off on the back of it? Yeah, you know, obviously the, the market has is, is been demonstrably sensitive to uh, what goes on in these trade talks. I think the market is, is somewhat skeptical that we get a, a grand bargain with China. Um, but, um, you know, I think if we get some kind of settlement, we, if we avoid, obviously, uh, the sort of Damocles uh, on March 1st and um, kind of kick the can down the road with some you know, modestly better uh, deal with China, the market uh, will respond positively.